in the example of the I, then what is the I relating to in its spiritual sense that we may use it? We read in Luke 4.16, And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day, and stood up for to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah, or Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and the recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord, the recovering of sight to the blind. And Jesus closed the book, and he gave it again to the minister, and sat down, and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. In that very day, Jesus was proclaiming that he was the one bringing sight to the human race. The seeing that Jesus is speaking of here is also the ability given to all men to possess spiritual sight or discernment, if they will and that they might recognize the supernatural truth of God's word when it is spoken to them. But what has the majority of mankind chosen? Romans chapter 1, verse 18. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Verse 19. Because that which may be known of God is manifested in them, for God hath showed it unto them verse 20. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Verse 21. Because that, when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Verse 22. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools verse 23, and changed the glory, or light, of the uncorruptible God into an image made like unto corruptible man, and to birds, and four-footed beasts, and creeping things. Verse 24, wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Verse 25, who changed the truth of God into a lie, and worshipped and served the creature more than their creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. John 9 verse 39 says, And Jesus said, For judgment I came into this world, that they which see not might see, and that they which see might be made blind. John chapter 9 verse 40. And some of the Pharisees which were with him heard these words and said unto him, Are we blind also? Verse 41. Jesus said unto them, if ye were blind, ye should have no sin. But now ye say, We see, therefore your sin remaineth. Jesus explains in John 16, 7, Nevertheless I tell you the truth, it is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin, and of righteousness, and of judgment, of sin because they believe not on me, of righteousness because I go to my Father, and ye see me no more, of judgment because the prince of this world is judged. I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. Howbeit when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Mankind has been given spiritual discernment, but many go after lies and the religions that exalt the creature as God. Any religion which denies Jesus' words or subverts them by default teaches the lie that the creature may rise to God by works of merit or by some innate ability in himself. There are even distorted forms of professed Christianity which subtly do this, 
This was predicted by the Apostle Paul as the great falling away that must come before the return of Jesus. It is a movement that will claim the position of God on earth and use the name of Jesus to seek to enthrone itself in the temple of God, whose temple is not made by hands, but is among men. Men will only be judged by the light they have. They will not be judged by the lies they earnestly believed, but by the truth they turned away and could have known. If thine eye be evil, said Jesus, thy whole body will be full of darkness. If the ability God has purchased for you through the blood of Jesus Christ is abused, that is, if men choose darkness rather than the light shining upon them, they will corrupt themselves and induce blindness. When more light comes, they will not appreciate it. Jesus was sent to bring light into mankind's darkness, just as in the beginning when he spoke light into the physical darkness that covered the barren planet. He took the humanity of man darkened by millennia of sin, and instead we beheld the glory of the Father in it. By his sacrifice, all can receive this glory and reflect this light as children born of God. John 3.16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men have loved darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For every one that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest that they are wrought in God. If the light that is in thee be darkness, Jesus says, how great is that darkness! If you use the grace of God's sight to turn toward evil, you will enter greater and greater darkness. Spiritual deception, forces of evil will deceive you to believe that you are receiving light when it is darkness. For we read in 2 Corinthians 11:13, For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore it is of no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. Satan has studied human physiology and psychology for millennia. He corrupts the mind of man through the human senses, and thus he has used misguided human talent to create the flood of darkness to entertain the soul. He disguises it as light by mixing truth with it, and even presents it in the name of Christian. But the lie is woven into the fabric in subtle ways. The mind becomes addicted to flattering and creature-exalting fantasies, and the imagination becomes unstable. The mind fails to endure the sober realities of God's truth and self-denial. A religion of forms is the only tolerable practice to such a soul. This is how, in our age, we worship the creature and change the glory and light of God into a lie. We end with these words of inspiration. Proverbs 23, 7. For as he, a man, thinketh in his heart, so is he. And 2 Corinthians 3.18. But we all, with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Whose image shall you be? Who has the heart?